Hi guys, with me uh, we have Gaurav Soni. Gaurav Soni is our esteemed speaker at ATH GTR 2022. Um, he is going to be presenting a workshop, which is very interesting. I'll talk about it a little later. Gaurav is a automation test analyst at PMC Detail. Uh, he is expert in API testing, end-to-end -end CI/CD pipelines, and uh, a fantastic human being. Uh, Gaurav, would you like to talk about yourself uh, to our audience a little bit more? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks, Aditya, for this uh, such a beautiful intro. Uh, my name is Gaurav Soni. I have total uh, six years of experience in automation. Uh, I have been through a, a product-based company and uh, working in a service-based company. So I have been through a different uh, kind of uh, automation framework, uh, you know, uh, creating them from scratch or maybe uh, uh, looking after them, uh, working on an API, Sel uh, Selenium, and uh, the other framework of the automation. And uh, some experience are uh, including uh, the recent ones, uh, the pause, uh, automating some pause applications, uh, working with some third party tools uh, like browser stacks and everything. Uh, majorly, my work is uh, I have been working with Java, and so all the technologies around Java, like uh, Java, Selenium, TestMD. Uh, so these are the core uh, technologies that I work with, uh, worked with in the uh, last six years, and it, it was an amazing experience. Uh, Aditi, you are not audible. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Great. So thank you so much for that uh, little more introduction about your uh, yourself. Guys, we have an expert with us who has worked on product and services, uh, both the sides. And he is presenting a very interesting topic uh, in the conference. Uh, it's all about resource bundle, and uh, which is basically a key to enable localization. And mind you, this is basically not a session. It's a 60 minute workshop. He's going to run you through the entire implementation execution with a sample code and a snapshot of resource bundle control flow. Um, can you uh, highlight a few more things if it's okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, uh, this particular uh, problem statement is uh, merely, uh, it, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, not uh, regularly that uh, we, uh, one could face. But if we face, uh, then uh, I think uh, it, it become a challenge how to handle this one particularly. And basically, uh, uh, the areas where your application has the multiple languages and the implementation of the uh, same. Um, so uh, basically, the automation, uh, the automation project, uh, the main, uh, the main challenge is to keep your, uh, you know, uh, language-wise test data isolated from your code and how you can easily manage and uh, manipulate those uh, data. And so you doesn't have to uh, deal much with your code when, whenever there are those changes in, in these areas. Um, uh, so, so this particular thing is uh, kind of uh, something how the, uh, you know, uh, the development, uh, the development of application, uh, I think uh, the team uh, uses the, the same approach. And uh, in, uh, I think in, in my uh, recent uh, project, what we did is like, uh, we adapt this particular approach in our uh, recent project as, uh, as it was required. And uh, so what it does is that it, uh, it just simplifies everything in a such a way that you know once the uh, implementation is done uh, your uh, maintenance becomes super easy and uh, at the same time it also allow you allow you to uh, you know uh, excel uh, what you are doing and uh, like those challenges are uh, pretty much uh, can be handled uh, with less effort. Uh, so uh, yeah, and uh, uh, so uh, these uh, these are the something uh, that uh, the other approaches uh, uh, which are there, but uh, they are kind of uh, uh, time consuming or maybe 
uh, you have to do, do your own implementations or uh, maybe there are challenges with the uh, maintenance. Uh, so the resource bundle is something that we can uh, definitely uh, help us uh, in uh, automating such applications. Uh, the areas are basically, uh, you know, a different uh, statement of the, the different statement, maybe a, 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 like currencies are there, there for different languages. And uh, what happens that uh, sometimes the country wise, the, uh, I, uh, I think the German is, uh, the French is same, but the Canadian French and the other French would be a different. Uh, so uh, these kind of challenges uh, are there. So there would be uh, the local uh, resource bundle allow us to, uh, in the form of like country and the uh, language. So the, uh, you can store each language uh, messages and uh, the other things uh, for the, the country and language specific. Uh, so that's become, a, I think um, it allow us to more, uh, it has the more way to uh, manage those things uh, easily. Correct. I think this is wonderful. Resource bundle, I think, is it, it is part of uh, uh, the Java JDK or that's how you're going to use that with Selenium, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, guys, this is wonderful because uh, many a times we see all uh, different things being implemented and resource bundle is something which probably is one area which you would be really benefited if you run through this uh, particular 60 minute workshop uh, that we have in this conference and it is being run by Gaurav. Uh, I'm sure that it would add a lot of value. So uh, I don't want Gaurav to talk a little bit more about it, uh, but I just want to ask you more questions, Gaurav, if you can allow me. Yeah, sure. So Gaurav, uh, you have been in the industry for six years. You moved from basically a product company to a service company. Uh, what exactly motivates you on a day-to-day -day basis? How do you keep your uh, uh, learning going on a day-to-day -day basis? What, what motivates you? What is your passion? Uh, as a QA, what we are doing is like, uh, we are, uh, we are the one, uh, who are on the end of, uh, on the end of the development process. So from requirement specification to the deployment, uh, we are at the end and, uh, we are responsible, uh, to make sure that whatever uh, deliveries are there uh have been uh, have been achieved and those are accurate and uh, what passionate me as uh, automation engineer that uh, we have a challenge to uh, in this the industry is going such a like uh, it is going uh, in a such a realistic and f a fast way that uh, you know the features are nowadays are delivered uh, within a week or uh, within a day and this kind of deliveries are happening. So as an automation engineer, it is always a challenge that, uh, you know, you minimize the time span. Um, like when the uh, actual, uh, you know, your features and everything comes on the, your, your particular local environment, like staging and those kind of environment. And you uh, lastly give a flag of, yes, this, this product is okay. This features are okay. And so that, uh, that time span is maybe, a uh, week to week because uh, like so based, uh, depends on your product how much your product is uh, bigger so uh as a key uh, automation engineer really uh, motivates you to how can you reduce that time uh, time span for the business to deliver solutions and the feature faster at the same time not, uh, not compromising on the quality and uh, how accurately you are able to repeat whether the features are working well or even there are something, uh, some, you know, vulnerabilities are there. So how quickly and how accurately you are able to report so that uh, they can, uh, you know, uh, the other end, the developer can easily, uh, you know, make quick fixes and uh, they are, they are, it is more easy to uh, have them provide uh, hot fixes. So developing such kind of, uh, such kind of frameworks, uh, implementing such kind of, uh, setups and uh, running through such a process, which is kind of, uh, you know, uh, helping business to deliver faster day by day. Uh, so this is uh, something that motivates me. Very nice guys. So we have a techie with us. We have a hardcore technologist working with us and I'm sure that the workshop that he has 
envisioned uh, is very interesting. The resource bundle stuff would be adding value. So I'm sure that the 60 minutes that uh, you will spend with him learning something which is kind of cutting edge uh, would always be sticking with you. So great. Thank you so much, uh, Gaurav, for spending some time with us. Really appreciate your time and looking forward for your workshop. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much.